can you do only it. get one life and you should seize that opportunity the end oh of the path. my goodness so if there's something you're putting off This morning we've woken up at Love's Truck Stop here in Williams, Arizona because today we're going to tick something off our bucket list that has been on it for absolutely ages. When we were planning our trip to go to the Grand Canyon, there was two places really that we could go, the North Rim or the South Rim. Now apparently the North Rim is a lot quieter and not so touristy. About 10% of people actually visit the Grand Canyon from the north side, which sounds a bit more like us, off the beaten track. Unfortunately, it's closed. And you can see how cold it is this morning, just from uh, the ice on the inside of the windshield. It's becoming a little bit of a habit in Trudy, having yeah. these cold mornings. We're not freezing to death, don't worry. We do have heaters, but we also have these thermal covers that we put behind the blackout blind. So we're not freezing or anything, but Trudy is definitely feeling it. One of the uh, main things to do when you go to the Grand Canyon, other than admiring the amazing view, is to go on a hike. And we did find a very cool hike online that we were planning to do but but yeah i've it's I've, still very bruised marianne i've whacked my knee my ankle also i don't is think twisted. you should probably hike but the problem with that knee is if you get down there what happens if you can't get back up i'm not sure i think we should try anyway we'll see i'm worried that we start going down and then i have to piggyback her all the way back up the hill <laughs> but we'll we'll get to that uh, when we get there Okay, so it is 59 miles, one hour to Grand Canyon Village. You ready? <laughs> okay, let's go. Head east toward North Grand Canyon Boulevard. How lucky are we with this weather? It's definitely brighter as, uh, as we've headed south. seen uh, the Grand Canyon on so many uh, TV programs, so many pictures on the website and both of our parents have been here and you never quite know what it's going to be like. You hope it's going to live up to the expectation that you've got in your head and uh, finger, fingers crossed today we get, to, we get to the Grand Canyon, get to some of those lookouts and get that real wow factor. The road is pretty quiet at the moment. There's a few cars. It's uh, nine o'clock in the morning. We left a little bit later than we planned. It will also be interesting to see how busy it is because I know in the summer, this place is literally crazy busy. Yeah, online um, it actually suggested it's like a zoo. We were just saying, I think the Grand Canyon village is part of a national park so i think entry should be covered by the america's beautiful pass if not i'm not sure whether we've got enough credit on our revolut because we use revolut as travel cards and we have to top, manually top them up from our, our bank account it's but we don't <laughs> yeah we don't top it up at the weekend because revolut charges you more to do that and I, i'm pretty sure we've only got like 20 pounds left on the card so it uh, could be interesting at the, uh, at the gate if our, if our America's beautiful pass doesn't work, we might have to pull over and try and top it up. Look how straight this road is. At the end should be the Grand Canyon, but this road goes on for miles and miles. The Romans were definitely here. I think, I think they probably were. As we're driving, the road is slowly getting busy. There's lots of cars overtaking us now. Racing to the Grand Canyon. Even though I'm doing the speed limit. We're arriving in the town of Tusayan, which is like the last town before the uh, the park. Exit the traffic circle onto Arizona 64 
It's, uh, this is obviously where people stay uh, when they're coming to visit the Grand Canyon on the south, on the south side. Lots of hotels. Here you go. This is the entrance. Is it a national park? Yeah, Grand Canyon National Park. $35 normally, let's see. Hello. Hi, is it covered by the America's Beautiful Pass? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay, we're armed. It's actually quite warm now. I was just thinking, I've double jumpered, but it's <laughs> not that cold. It's not that cold. So we're going to go to the, uh, the visitor's centre and just get a bit of information. Oh, I can't wait to see it. They got all this information on the hiking levels. Easy, moderate, difficult. Do you know why I love this sign? <laughs> I love this sign because they got the granny and the granddad. Yeah, they have on the old one. one. <laughs> yes. Lots of information boards here. Oh, look at that. And it also tells you to bring pat lunches, water bottles. Yeah, apparently people do die from dehydration here in the summer every year. Really? Yeah. Because they hike down and then they haven't got enough water to get back up. Wow. Terrifying. I know, but with your knee, we're not hiking, I'm not today. hiking today. We're going to do an easy route. I'm so this is the easy route guide to the Grand Canyon. We checked the globe today. And, and that <laughs> way, you don't have to piggyback me all the way back up. The yeah, hill. that's not going to happen, Marianne. Okay, after chatting to Kevin the Ranger, we've come up with a little bit of a plan. We're at the visitors' centre here. We're going to walk down to Mayor Point, then we'll then take Trudy on the desert view drive that goes all the way along here and we will end at the desert view watchtower for lunch for lunch so the pathway here is all paved how's your knee doing it's okay it's my ankle the ankle you got you got to stop rolling around on the floor, Marianne. I know, it was very <laughs> stupid. Sometimes you just have to be more careful and it was one of those moments, but it's fine. This is going to be the first view. We're just coming to the end of the path. There it is. There is the end oh of the path. Oh my goodness. It's huge. Look at that. Oh. It is literally breathtaking, isn't it? You can see why they built the visitor center here because this is just like where people would congregate to see this view so it makes perfect sense but look i'm so at pleased the geology of this great place to come and take your photo they've got this walkway paved all the way along the side here this is just absolutely insanely beautiful and it goes on for miles well, apparently we asked the ranger how long it would was to canoe or not canoe raft down the 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 canyon he said it takes two weeks and it was 270 miles i think he said yeah is that not a wow moment Amazing. So now we're going to walk to the point to get that uh, panoramic look at the end. Looks like a perfect place to take a, a photo. We said this in previous videos, sometimes we're bringing you on the journey, obviously, but sometimes we can't give you the enormity and it's one that you oh. have to come yourself. But hopefully you take you these, the snippet. Yeah, you take these pictures and they just don't do it justice. Just don't. Look at look that. At that. <laughs> That is insane. I can't believe how far down it is. That is Mathis Point. With the red rock and you can see the layers of uh, different rock on it. Oh, this is Utah's big brother for sure. Wow, wow, wow. Is this not one of the best views you have seen? 
I can't believe this. It's just epic. It's hard to believe that after driving for so many years, across so many countries, across so many miles, we've actually arrived at the Grand Canyon. We've driven to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> That is nuts. Is that not nuts? Who'd have thought, Granny and Grandad, we did it. So if there's something you're putting off, if we can do it, you know, you, can you only it. get one life and you should seize that opportunity. Wow, that was very deep. A That's bit deep. Like I'm feeling quite emotional because of this camera, this view, look at that. You can actually see one of the hiking trails. Can you wow. see it? Oh gosh, gosh, yeah, look at that. And I think one of the points you hike to is is one of. I think it might be that that point that wow. sticks out there. You can just get a glimpse of the Colorado River down there, and you can see the hiking trails. Yeah, that's mad. Oh, I can't imagine. Can you imagine? Look, you see there's like trails. Can you imagine being that fit that you can just like trot on down? Look, look how Colorado deep river. it is. I can't imagine trying to hike. There are trails through the valleys. You can see them. I mean, you'd have to be pretty hardcore to want to want to hike that. I think the boat has uh, floated <laughs> off. <in laughs> With my ankle and um, knees and your ankle and knees, I think yeah. we've got Bob open, no hope of getting down there. But we appreciate you if you do it. Well done. Yeah. Have you done it? Has anybody hiked down there? Well done. <laughs> Good, <laughs> Good job. For, <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> driving down this road there are lots of little pull-offs uh, that you can go and uh, check out the view go on a little hike there's not many days where you can say you're driving past the Grand Canyon Okay, so we've come down to Desert Viewpoint. You can't actually park right next to the view, no. which we were planning to do for lunch. Plans quite regularly don't go according to plan. So yeah, so we're, we're gonna check out this view and then on the way here, we pass loads of amazing looking viewpoints where you can literally park up and truly will have a view over the Grand Canyon for lunch. Yeah. Still frozen. Don't slip over, Marianne. I'm just checking, it's definitely black ice. No free ice skating here. I remember you doing that in New York. I did that in New York. Just keeping with the budget theme, the sidewalk here is all covered in ice, so you can save on your entry to the ice rink. <laughs> so there you go, that is the, the tower, the watchtower. It's unfortunately closed at the moment, they're renovating it, but you can see at the top, they've got uh, through those windows binoculars, so you'll get a even better view but i've got a feeling that at the end of this little pinnacle it's going to look pretty impressive It was, it was built in the early 1930s. It was finished in 1932. It was built for tourism, but it was built to model after the Puebloan oh. the towers that would have been around. Okay. Um, but in this case, this is also oftentimes they were attached to, this would have been called a kiva. And a kiva is a ceremonial site for the Hopi Indians. Um, and most of the time you would have come in from the top, it would have been partially buried or all the way buried there underground. Oh, okay. So that's why they have this. Uh, Oh, that yeah. would have been the fire, so you were in shock oh, and very the cool. smoke as you came down into it. Well, I think you have probably one of the best office views in the world. It's pretty <laughs> Do you have the pages up here or the pages <laughs> You got the best I office. I worked, I worked up in the village for six months, <laughs> and then I decided to come out here because I'm going to be out here for the winter. It's just so It's fabulous, amazing. absolutely yeah. fabulous. The dark sky out here at night.
Look at this for an epic view. The hill over here actually looks like a volcano, but it's not. Right, let's go and find a park up for lunch. Oh, look at that for a view. <laughs> it's not every day you see that out your side window, is it, love? Welcome to Navajo Point, and I think we should have a nice view from here. And when people say you quit your job and your nice house to live in a van, and I say yes, so that I get a view out of, this is my office window, and it's something <laughs> like that'll do. Look at that. It's not very often you get to have lunch and look at the Grand Canyon out of your windscreen, is it? Pretty cool place for lunch, don't you think so? I think so. I'm speechless, actually. Speechless. My wife's speechless. No. Savor that moment. No. <laughs> After a cheeky little lunch, we couldn't leave without going to check out this view. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> is that your van? It is, from England, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're driving around the world in it. Oh, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Can I take your picture? Of course, no problem. Right in front of it. There Thank you go. You. We'll stand in front of the van. Oh, great. <laughs> I see you. Thank you. Thank you all. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Look at that. It's absolutely <laughs> crazy view. I'm not going to get too close to the edge. And that's the tower where we were just now, just before lunch. I just can't get over how far down it is. Do you think this is the most Instagrammable, photographed, famous location that we've been to? This is just epic with the river, the colours. It's the colour of the rocks and the layers that it's get layers, me. It is, isn't it? It's like... And it's like this middle bit, the way the rocks are, it actually looks like there's been a huge wall that's collapsed over time. Absolutely. I'm just blown away by it. It's just an absolute mad place. It's just the enormity of it. It's just, apparently you can see that, that hill in the distance there, apparently that's 100 miles away. Just in case you're wondering how tall this plateau is, it says it here. 2,400 meters, 8,000 feet. Yeah, please don't go too close. The edge is very close. That's with my arm stretched out. <laughs> I'm not going too close. Okay, we've been looking on online and we think we found a dispersed campsite just south of the entrance of the park, uh, which is a free sort of campsite that you can park at. So we're going to go and see if we can find it. just driving along a whole family of deer decided to jump out in, in the road we didn't hit them it was all good reflexes of a ninja but it does show you that uh, that they are here so we're just heading out of the park and there's a traffic jam so it either means there's loads of cars or it means there's something on the road nature on the road is there a deer or something Maybe on the oh, there's deer in the forest there. Right there. Oh, look. There's so many of there's them. There's one on the road there. Yeah, what is that? They've got like a white bum, like a light coloured bum, and a shaggy mane. 
Is that a deer? Nice of them to uh, give an appearance before we leave the park. Okay, we're turning into the forest. Let's go and see if we can find... Your destination will be on the right. There you go, quarter mile. Yeah. We're not going to get down there. I think we can go in there. Hold on, let's have a look. Welcome to the forest, area rules. Stay limit, 14 days. There you go. Oh yeah, you can, we can park around here then. We're just trying to find a good flat spot to sleep in. Always a problem. We got chocks, but um, it's just getting it so you get your head higher than your feet. And ideally we like to face out because if there's ever an emergency at night from a security perspective, facing out is always good. Okay, after trying to find a flat spot, we've ended up in the middle here. It's a good spot in the trees. It's close to town. Amazingly, we still got cell service. And you're allowed to park and disperse camping in the National Forest for up to 14 days, recreational use. And it's free. And this is literally probably five, 10 minutes drive from the entrance of the Grand Canyon National Park if you are coming here. And if you want to see more of our trip here through Arizona, then check out this video right here. Bye from the Grand Canyon. <laughs>